Hey guys, last here, and we got another review. <laughs> I just got this figure very recently. As in, probably I'm gonna upload this video on the 14th, and I've gotten it today. So I'm recording it the day I got it. Been messing with him. Kind of wanted to do review slash somewhat of first impression, because I've heard many things about this figure, and I got curious, and I got pretty dang curious about it and yeah but more so i just like the concept of tracks and the corvette stingray looks awesome <laughs> so yeah let's take a look at the box real fast so just, i can just la, 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 tongue stops working so he is a deluxe class and for a deluxe class he looks surprisingly good both box art and figure i, I have him don't worry he's got the little promotional images in the Ah, uh, not promotional energy. I, mean, I can't English today. <laughs> I got the box art right here. With the kingdom stuff. And here are the promotional images now. Yeah, it's it's a pretty easy conversion. He also got an alternate mode, so there you go. And, uh, yeah. Anyways. There you go, there's the box. And, uh, let's bring it forward. This guy is tiny. <laughs> I, I actually have to zoom in a tiny bit. Just so I can get this, yeah. you can see the Kleenex box, and immediately, detail's pretty good. I like how this is mostly flat for the most part, and I like how the shape is generally there. These things don't always stay in, but it's not a big deal for it. Ah, when I just look at it from a distance, it's not gonna look bad. You got your typical, your typical deluxe class size car, and uh, yeah, it rolls pretty nicely. It's loud. It, it's very loud. It rolls really nicely. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, honestly, I think the car mode's pretty cool. Now, let's talk about a little bit about accessories real fast. He has a giant port right there, and he comes with two. You want to stack this white gun, dual gun on here, like so. Like that. And then you also put this little blaster on top, and there you go. That's your weapon storage, and that's also where he fires from, so yeah. yeah it's uh, pretty neat stuff. He also comes with one of these cards, the golden disc card. I got the arc again. Yeet. Yeah, I don't care too much about those cards. And uh, before we continue, let's go to size comparison. Let me just get some things out of the way real fast. It makes my life easier that way if I do. Let's start with... Uh, because this is all about it's the new series prime don't mind the fact that this is the nemesis trailer don't mind that but uh yeah in comparison he's kind of dinky he's kind of small but uh yeah that's what the series prime i'll just put him back up here ah no i dropped it no <laughs> all right uh, studio, um, studio series VW Bumblebee. If I just turn the camera down a little bit more, there you go. Yeah, there. Corvette Stingray I know is pretty big, well, somewhat big, at least bigger than a Beetle. So yeah, I kept the same Karma for so long now. I think it was, it's just gonna stay that way. Eat. And the next comparison is one of my favorite car modes, Drop uh, Drop Kick. Got a fancy sports car, and we got a muscle car here. This looks really good. They're both blue, so that helps. I do transform them occasionally. I just like really love the car mode. And the reason why I got this guy and one other bot I'll show in the next review is because I just need more Autobots in my collection. I have one too many Decepticons. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, and then one last comparison is a little sneak peek to my next review. Of, well, you're pretty much going to see who it is. Yeah, y'all know who that is. Um, you'll see in the next video. That's a comparison. But now, let's get the transformation. All right, so before we get into full-on transformation, let's show the alternate mode real fast. So what you want to do first, you see these little uh, white bits right here. You want to flip these up, and there you go. Do the same thing on the other side, and there you go. And this is where it gets a little tricky. I don't have 
for the fingernails will do it, so I like to come in with a screwdriver. But it says you also just pull up, but I just don't have that leverage. So what I kind of do is just go in with a screwdriver, just um, plop it out. There you go. I'm gonna see if I can get this right. Plop it out. There you go. There you go. And I'll just continue transformation from there since you have to do that for the arms anyways. And then let's go in here. Ow. Ooh. Ow. I hurt myself. On accident. Okay. And we got the arms out. Like so. And now we just need to flip them out all the way. All the way. All the way. There you go. This one arm. And, and. This is the other arm. Now what we're going to do here is move the actual arms away. Or move the arms away from the wings. Like so. And there you go. You're going to have to do this for robot mode anyway, so that's why I'm just doing it here. And then, you're going to do this on the end of the other side. Okay, there you go. There you go. You know, the, yeah, those look the same, those look slightly off, but I don't care. And then you're going to want to rotate the arm at the elbow point. Or the bicep, and then you should be good to go. And yeah, this is the f this is the al little alternate mode we saw in the box for tracks, the little flight mode. And uh, yeah, it still rolls, even though the two wheels are are floating up like that. It still rolls pretty well, <laughs> and I can you can swoosh it. It's all good. It's a small car. That crotch flap gets annoying though. And uh, yeah. Yeah, no, this is a little flight mode that came with it, and it looks pretty badass. But since we're here, I may as well just get started. I just may as well continue on from here, because this is the same thing as the, um, as the, <laughs> as the robot mode. As in, like, okay, yeah, you just gotta transform it. A wing popped off, oh no. One of the little intakes popped off. Luckily, it's just a simple hinge. So that's very easy re to reattach. Let me just see. Very easy to reattach. There you go. Uh oh. There you go. Right there. While we're here, I may as well just do the arms real fast. Just flip the hands out. There you go. And... I can't for the life of me. There you go. Now we're gonna have to start separating all separating all of this, so who oh boy. Put the arms out. I say who oh boy as if it's difficult. It's difficult when you're trying to do this on camera. And it's like you you, you I can't you know bring it close to me. So just keep in mind when it comes to these kinds of transformations, off off camera is infinitely easier. Okay, so you gotta you have to pull this out because the way you hinge this in looks seamless, but it's a little tab that you just slide under all that. So I, I just have to do that now. Okay, and with that, let me see if we can get also get this out of the way. Just cause. Let's get all that out of the way. There you go. Okay. Got that all the way. Let's do the upper body first. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna turn this this way that's the crotch we're gonna also gonna pull this forward if i can i don't want to break it there you go i pulled it forward like that and then what you want to do is you want to turn this around like so and we'll, we'll deal with that last but what you also want to do here is you want to fold this in like so and then just want to fold that in again. I hope I did that right. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Nope. Nope. I did not do that right. 
Okay, let me just, uh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, I just fold it up like that. Not much you can do there. It was kind of messy, but oh well. And, uh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. no you're not supposed to go on. And, uh, yeah. Now, since we're here, let's so leave it at that. Let's go with the legs real fast. So you want to detach them, separate them. And then you want to do um, do all this and extend them in a way. Eh. 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 There you go. And then you want to put that down. Or not put that down. You want to then move this over like that. Okay, I'm done. Okay. So you want to have the knee like that. Okay. You want to get this around to here. Uh, the, uh, 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 face is itching. Help. <laughs> then what else you want to do is then you... Yeah, because you have to hinge this over and it gets a little difficult that way. So there you go. I think I think I got it. No, <laughs> I did that wrong. Um Okay, okay, da 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 And then you wanna do the leg like that. There you go. And then you wanna flip this over. I have no idea if I'm doing that right. There you go. I got it. I got it. You want to have the feet in position like that. And you bring the knee all the way up. And then you just close this in. And there you go. It should friction. And then there's the leg. So let's do the same thing here real fast. And then, yeah. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do something complicated. I'm going to get this over. There you go. And then we're going to unfold that and then fold this out and then fold that out right there get that feet going there you go close this and there you go at least that's what the instructions show me and to be fair the one thing i don't like about the this figure is just the instructions really suck and uh yeah and now the grand finale what we do here is we gotta deal with all this so, like so, and this tab right here should go into that little hole right there. If I can get it, let me just use that double hinge to my advantage, and there you go. There, now it's connected. There you go. And you want to connect that backpack down right here. Is there anything else? Oh, yeah, no. Okay. And, um, let me see. Well, I have to pull this one up close to me. I'll just fix all this as well. I'm holding here. Sorry, you don't get to see much. I just want to make sure I got something right. There you go. And uh, I'm not sure about the back section. Hold on. There you go. Let that sit on there. Like so. Oh, no. No, no, no. Everything's coming apart. There you go. Then this little spot right there you want to get this in so i'm going to do that real fast there you go that should hold the back together there you go and yeah there there you go yeah 
There you go. Okay. We got the arms here as well. And yeah, that is tracks. Got the whole G1 thing going for him. There you go. Let's make him stand up. And uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what you have to do with the back. It's unfortunate that uh, once that's happening, you can't really rotate that anymore. Though I think you only rotate it when you do a transformation. It's all mad. Now, you have tracks. You just see him staring into your soul. And uh, yeah, he's, he's a pretty small figure. He is a tiny figure, all things considered. But, yeah, no, I genuinely enjoy him. I genuinely enjoy him. Despite the little rocky transformation. And the details on this guy, mine is a crotch weight, are pretty nice. You got his stark red face. Got the giant backpack that hangs off of him, though that's accurate. You got the legs. All these little painted details right here. Autobot symbol. You got... Little interior details and all that. Yeah, you got car parts hanging off in the back, but this looks pretty cohesive as it is. So I'm not I'm not mad about it. Articulation. So his head is on a ball joint, but it's pretty dang limited. He can look around. He can't do 360 because of this whole thing in their way. He has a waist swivel. His arms can go out like that, I like that. He has an inward, he has an inward butterfly joint. So yeah, he's got a butterfly joint going. He's got bicep swivel. He's got an elbow bend that goes up to 90. He's got wrists that can go in, but that's for transformation mainly. His legs can go out that far go back that far and he can do the full splits there you go he's got your thigh swivel he's got a knee bend that goes up to 90 so yeah and he's got ankle pivots because these are on a really large ball joint as you could tell so you could get a lot with him in those ones now let's talk about weapons real fast he comes with these little guys. Um, I've seen some put it up here. Like it can fit. It looks kind of ridiculous, but I'll go with it. The box says you can hold it with the hands, but I just think the backpack should have some sort of purpose and have a little blaster on top. I don't know if that's G1 accurate. I don't really listen to G1 that often. And uh, yeah, here's this little blaster. And let me grab blast effects real fast. Let's see. His guns can take blast effects. That I know for sure. Okay. Uh, hold on. Pause real fast. Sorry about that. So they came up. But anyways, we're back here. We we'll grab some blast effects that we can pull out. Some of these smaller guys. I'm not gonna pull out the big ones just because that might be a bit much. But he can take blast effects for sure. And we we'll use hot rods as well, just cause. Just cause. And just cause they're there, we'll use them. And uh, yeah. So, let's start simple. What we could do here, I, I don't know why I have these first ones. His wings could get hit, could get blooshed, as some would say. Let me just put that on. As some would say, his wings got blooshed. There you go. And then, let's say, his arm also got blooshed. Right shoulder, okay. You know, my man's is taking heavy fire. He's got a fire back as well. Uh-oh. 
I don't know if that impeded anything, but it just said my camera has a low battery, or my phone has a low battery. I mean, and that's got a little blue blast effect going on. You can fire away. Yes. And then, uh, let's also add a blue one right here. So he's gonna be blasted in the leg like so. And then finally, what we can do here is throw these little ones on. And there you go. Now he is firing away like no one's business. <laughs> he is firing away. He's getting hit and he's firing back. Yes, I'm using the spoiler pack blast effects, but damn it, I'll, I'll but I'll be damned. These are funny. Uh, I don't know why I'm messing around with that. But yeah, now let's get into size comparison. Now let's get into some size comparison for tracks. Let's start simple and go with the 86 movie. Here's Hot Rod. He is considered a Voyager class, but he's a deluxe plus in my opinion because he just comes with a bunch of stuff and he's deluxe size. So yeah. That comparison works pretty well. I like it. And uh, I'm just realizing my shelf is kind of dirty. Need to clean that. Um, while we're here, let's look at Nicey, who is taller than him considerably. <laughs> um, that's uh, some certain kind of vibes. If y'all know what I mean, y'all know what I mean. Y'all get brownie points. this last guy out and then last thing in the next comparison is Optimus Prime Voyager class you know the drill you know all that good stuff he's a Voyager class eh. and then finally let's compare him to Wheeljack they're both deluxe class and I think they work really well together I think this is pretty accurate Accurate as far as I know, I don't watch G1 or Kingdom, but these figures look cool, and I just wanted them. So, yeah. Oh, wait. One more surprise size comparison. Uh, uh. <laughs> um, that's a monstrosity. You can kind of see what's going on in there. Yeah, I, I don't need to say more about that. All you need to know, that's a monstrosity I decided to make one day. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for this video. I really like Trax. He looks freaking cool. And, and I love this. Sounds like he's loose, but he's pretty tight. And, you know, he can go under stress. No problem. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, that's it for Trax. Hold on. His voice, I think I know in G1, is like, Oh, I gotta stay in my stun. I, I'm not gonna do it. It sounds very, very snarky. I don't know why I attempted that. I am so sorry you get to hear all that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video on tracks. Make sure you all have a good day.